when you get to work on something, there's a lot more that comes to it than just cosplaying the character. I had never actually worked on any of the cosplays that I had done. So when I saw La Harl, I saw this is my chance. This is the moment that I get to try and cosplay for my first time. And this is going to be my rebirth into cosplay and actually get to get my hands dirty and figure out what just what it means to really be a cosplayer. I took on cosplaying Laharl from the Disgaea series, and this one specifically was from Disgaea D2, A Brighter Darkness. I loved Laharl as a character, I really enjoyed kind of growing up with him from middle school till now, I was always funny, I was kind of related to him a little bit, and only about 10 years later when I decided maybe I should cosplay this character, and all of my friends were going around making jokes anytime I cosplay a character that would have a sword or have some crazy hair like his and go, are you cosplaying Laharl yet? Or, hey, you finally decided to cosplay Laharl. And it kind of got to me to the point where I'm like, maybe I actually should go ahead and cosplay this character if I appreciate him so much. I originally had gotten into the Disgaea series around middle school when I picked up a game called Phantom Brave from a game shop. I brought it home and I pretty much fell in love with it right off the bat. Uh, the music was really moving, the characters were very enjoyable, and the story kept me going to the next and always asking for more. Uh, I eventually poured about 500 hours into the save file and I knew that it was just a hit with me. But what really struck me is that in the after game they had a lot of extra content and cameos to all their other characters from the Disgaea series and all the other games they had. And I got introduced to Laharl that way and the Disgaea series and I ended up getting a stockpile of about 20 to 30 different games that they've all created now, but I think to this day Disgaea still remains my absolute favorite. With a lot of the convention that I had gone to in the past, I had never actually worked on any of the cosplays that I had done. I had a friend that would always kind of help me out with the sewing and the clothing making and the prop building because I wasn't really, I didn't know any of these skills. And I didn't want that to hamper my cosplay. Uh, wig styling was something new to me. I had to search the internet and ask all my friends to help me out and try to figure out what it was I needed to do to make these crazy looking antenna that he had. There was a sword that he, he had from the original Disguise series that I really liked, so I tried to replicate that, which involved a lot of wood cutting and some special gradients that I used to make the sword. Criticism can sometimes become a little bit deconstructive. There's a lot of people out there that will say things like, oh, well I would have done this, or maybe you should have tried this instead, or that could have looked better. And these comments start to piss me off a little bit because it makes me think that is my cosplay either so bad that um, everyone else can notice these things, or does everyone else just think they can easily do a better job than me because I'm just starting out. But then I started to think about it and remember that I was the one that worked on this cosplay, and I should be the one that's the biggest critic of it. So just remember that when you do work on something, appreciate the work that you did, and take criticism because it will help you, but don't ever let it become so much that it just destroys you from ever trying again. When you work on a costume, you really get to appreciate everything about it, but you also get to see everything that you don't appreciate. I know what I did wrong, and I know what I did right, and I should focus on those things and the skills that I have now to get better. So it was, it was really exciting for me, and I got to learn a lot of new skills and kind of figure out what it really meant to be a cosplayer for the first time. <laughs>